What's up everybody, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to talk about a very important topic and that is how to get new players into fighting games and how to keep them playing. This is something that I've heard a lot of people across different fighting game communities talk about and how they find it difficult to get people into their respective games, you know, because you hear a lot of things like fighting games are hard and my buddy, he quit because he said, you know, it's just too difficult. It's too hard. Fighting games are too hard to play. And the thing is, is I feel like that might be what people are saying, but that isn't actually the crux of the problem. People don't quit playing games because they're too hard. People stop playing games when they stop having fun. And most of the time in a fighting game, the reason this happens is because they're not having fun. Why aren't they having fun? It's because they're losing all the time. They're losing all the time. They're fighting you, who is probably somebody who's godlike, who's been at this for a long time. Somebody who might be traveling to tournaments, might be incredibly active in the community. And for all intents and purposes, you might go 0-2 at the major you went to, but compared to someone who's new to the game, i.e. your buddy, your new roommate, you know, the guy who lives down the hall at your school, you are a god. You are absolutely destroying these people, and they just can't get wins. They never feel like they have a fair fight. If they don't feel like they, they can't get wins or have a fair fight, they're just not going to have fun. And this is something that I see happen with a lot of communities where... You know, you, you'll walk up to, uh, you know, up to somebody, they're talking about their favorite fighting game or whatever, and you're like, hey man, you know, I've been thinking about getting into this, like, what do you have to tell me about this game? And like, nine times out of ten, person who's really passionate about Tekken, Guilty Gear, uh, Street Fighter, whatever, you, you know, Marvel, they're going to tell you the first thing out of their mouths. I've heard this at so many events, and this is terrible. The first thing they're going to say is they're like, look man... My game, this game is hard as hell. Like, if you want to get good at this game, it's going to take you months of practice. You are going to have to train. You are going to lose all the time. You are going to have to learn all these option selects. You're going to have to learn all these big, long combos. You're going to have to learn all these matchups. You know, there's 38 people in this game, man, that's going to take a lot of time. All this stuff, right? That is the worst way to get somebody into a fighting game. That's the worst way. I mean, you have got to think back, like, Go time machine style and think back to the first time that you played a fighting game. Way back when. And for me, like, this was like Street Fighter 2 in my cousin's basement, right? Like, on the, on the Super Nintendo, right? Street Fighter 2. And I go and I sit down and my cousin, you know, he shows me this game. He's like, look, man, this is really cool. You can do these things. Look at this cool thing. It's called a, it's, it's like a spin kick thing. Didn't even know it was called a Tatsu. He's just like, look at these spin kicks. This is super cool. It's like, look, you can throw fireballs. And I saw Ryu throw a fireball, and I just went, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in video games. I want to do that. And so what did I do? I sit down, and I mashed on the, on the, on the D-pad and mashed buttons with my cousin until a fireball came out, and I hit him with it. And I was like, yes, that was awesome. Fighting games are cool. You know, three, four years later, I end up playing Tekken 2, and, you know, I'm over there, I'm mashing buttons, and I hit somebody with Hayachi's, like, electricity, and I'm just like, that was cool. People play fighting games because they're cool. Because when you do cool things in a fighting game and you hit somebody with it, it's fun. And when you beat up your brother, your roommate, your best friend, your mom, your dad, your little sister, your girlfriend, whoever, whoever you're playing in the fighting game, whenever you win, that is fun. It is fun to do cool stuff with cool characters and it is fun to win. And the problem is, is that when we try to get people into fighting games, and when I say we, I mean experienced tournament players, people who are part of the fighting game community, you know, what happens? A lot of time you're like, hey man, like come over, you know, we'll play, we'll check this out. What do you do? You're like, all right, now man, sit down and like, you know, play the tutorial. Yeah, okay, an hour goes by. All right, we just did the tutorial, all right, now let's practice some fireballs. It's like, man, that's not fun. You're taking them to class. You're taking them to school. They don't want to go to school. They want to have fun. And it's part of why, like, whenever I try to get people into a fighting game, uh, whether they play fighting games before or not, or if they've played a little bit but are trying to get into something new, I always try to pair them up 
with somebody else who is new, somebody else who is also learning, somebody where they stand a chance, somebody else where they're also experiencing the cool things you can do in the game for the very first time. When they accidentally grab you, they don't go, oh man, I wanted to get that combo instead, I don't want to grab, screw this game, these inputs are hard. No, when they get the grab, the grab animation goes off, they're like, oh, that was sick, that was cool. And the guy was like, I wasn't even expecting that. That's the, that's the type of scenario that you need to give people. People need that experience if they're gonna get into playing fighting games competitively. They need to know what it feels like to have fun, what it feels like to do cool stuff. They need to fight against someone that's around their skill level. They need to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so when we're talking to people about getting into fighting games, we really, really need to avoid this language of like, the game is hard. Nobody, nobody wants to start off with a game is hard. And it doesn't matter how complex your game is. It doesn't matter that Tekken has Korean backdashes. It doesn't matter that Marvel's got infinite combos. It doesn't matter that Guilty Gear's got YRC, option select, mix up, nonsense. It's like, what matters is that fighting games are actually really easy. You just mash buttons and punch the other guy till they're dead. That's it, that's all you do. You press buttons till the other guy is dead. You pick a character that looks cool and you have some fun. I mean, I come from a background of playing all kinds of all kinds of games, all kinds of competitive games. I have explored many different genres. And one of my favorite competitive games of all time is Go. It's a, one of the oldest, if not the oldest board game on the planet. Black and white stones, 19 by 19 grid, typically only really popular in China, Japan, and Korea, but there's a very small group of Western players who do play it. In that game, it has been stated that there are more possible variations of Go than there are atoms in the known universe, okay? Go is the most complicated game ever. It is ridiculously complex. You could study this game for your entire life and still suck and still not be the best. And yet, the way that Go is explained to people, to new players, is that it is the simplest game on the planet. Because it is. It only has like five rules. It's incredibly easy to get into. It's super simple. But if you take someone who's brand new to Go and put them up against a Grand Master, they're just gonna get destroyed. They might not even score a single point. And nine times out of 10, that's how it's gonna feel for somebody who's new to fighting games, who's playing you. The guy who is so passionate about fighting games that you looked up this video, you've listened to me rant for the last 10 minutes about growing the fighting game community. Because the fact of it is, is no matter what your game is, you know, whether you're an anime player, a Capcom player, a Tekken head, or a guy from NRS, doesn't matter what your game is, we all want our communities to grow because we love our games. We love our games and we want more people to play them so that they can have fun just like we do. But the path for a new player is not, <laughs> it's not starting off with telling them how hard it is. And it's not starting off with throwing them against the wall of, of difficulty. Um, the other thing too is like new players, they don't care about mechanics and inputs and auto combos and frame data and option selects or the, the presence of this fuzzy guard option versus that DPOS. Like they don't care about that stuff. They don't. We care about that because we're competitive fighting game players. We care about that stuff a lot. And a lot of times we'll judge a game based on how difficult or how easy we perceive those mechanics to be. Good example, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Everybody's saying, hey, man, this game, how's it gonna be competitive? It's got auto combos in it. Auto combos are the worst thing ever. Guess what, man? Auto combos aren't the worst thing ever. Auto combos allow a new player to come in, mash buttons, start doing really cool stuff immediately and feel really good and have fun. That's all that auto combos do. They're not optimal. They don't detract from the gameplay experience. They don't make it less competitive. If anything, what it does is it allows new players to get in, have fun, and do something cool from the get-go. I mean, it's the same thing like today, we watched a bunch of videos come out about Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, right? Being shown off at New York Comic Con for the first time, playable demo, all this stuff, and people were, you know, are talking all this speculation about it, and they were like, all right, man, DPs, they're back on two buttons, just like Persona 4 Arena. 
and everybody immediately starts, everybody in the competitive scene immediately starts freaking out. They're like, oh man, two button DPs, two button DPs and that option select, that's what killed Persona, that's what killed that scene, that's what made that game non-competitive. It was, <coughs> it was the worst. It, it just totally prevented anybody new from ever getting into that game. It's like, no, it's not what prevented people from getting into that game. What prevented people from getting into that game was the ability of the existing community to take a new player and say, hey man, get in there, do some auto combos, do some cool stuff, here's another newbie to fight, go play, have fun. That was what prevented that scene from growing. Because what happened when someone was like, hey, I'm thinking about picking this up, immediately all the community jumps in and says, now look, Persona, it seems simple, but it's actually really hard. And let me tell you about these two button DPs that just make this game completely busted. Of course your scene's not gonna grow if that's the way that you talk about your game. You gotta give people hope. You gotta give, let people know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And this isn't me calling out the Persona 4 community at all. And you know, clearly there's other stuff at play uh, with why Persona 4 was or was not successful. But I am at no point going to not give you my anecdotal evidence for my Persona 4 experience, which went like this. I got Persona 4 Arena. I played some single player, I played some multiplayer, went online a couple times, life got in the way. So I put the game down, as many people have to do. Finished up a year of college, year and a half later, something like that, Ultimax comes out. I'm like, oh cool, new Persona 4 game, I didn't give this enough of a fair shot when it first came out, let me play it now. I go online and I get bodied, because the only people who are still playing are like the absolute gods of Persona 4 Arena and I just get destroyed. I go on, I play for a whole night. I put four hours into net play. Connection was great, no lag, everything was fine, but holy crap, like I couldn't even understand how to do anything in that game. So what do I do? I go online, I hit up the community areas, I read up what people are saying about Persona 4 Arena, and nobody is saying things like, hey man, like here's beginner nights, here's like how to join this community, here's how to get involved with like learning the game, here's like some good early beginner tips. Mm -mm. It was all just people going like, man, Persona 4 Ultimax didn't fix anything, it's still busted, we still got two button DPs, this game is really, really hard to get into, like, I wouldn't even bother. So what happens? I just didn't even bother. You know, and it's, it's because, it's not because I, I quit a fighting game because it was too hard. It's not. Is just I could go have more fun faster playing a different fighting game. We're playing a different game altogether, you know. So, the moral of the rant is: if you guys have actually made it this far in the video, is just we need to stop thinking about game mechanics and the game and the issues with the game and the fact that Street Fighter V is too aggressive and there's no defensive counterplay options, just fish for counter hits, and that you know. Guilty Gear is just about like YRCs and getting free openings on your opponent and having to learn the unteckable knockdown windows and how everyone's tech time is different or how like Tekken 7 is just about Korean backdashes and neutral and you're not really winning unless you play a Mishima and perfect electric wind god fist is so hard so hard so hard like we need to stop with all this stuff we need to stop talking about the game mechanics and all the little details and pointing the finger at those things and saying this is why our scene isn't growing what we need to do is we need to welcome new players into whatever game they think looks cool and help facilitate the having of fun that's what we need to be doing when i was in uh, when i was in school finishing up my degree i pretty much stopped playing fighting games uh, for a good couple of years. This was like between 2011 and 2013. Um, 2013 rolls around and Injustice is announced. And I'm like, man, there's no way Injustice is gonna be good. You know, the last time they tried to do like a DC Mortal Kombat thing, it was terrible, blah, 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 whatever. Well, a friend of mine who'd never played a fighting game before picks it up. I go over to his house one night I've never played an NRS game in my life. Like, I played Mortal Kombat 2 once when I was a kid, and then, you know, my parents found out and I got in big trouble. But I go over to his place, and he happens to be playing Injustice on the night where we're supposed to hang out. And I'm like, you know what? I like fighting games. Let's, let's play some Injustice, man. Let's do it. 
and we play. I have no idea what I'm doing. He has no idea what he's doing. Injustice works completely different from every other fighting game I've played before. Whatever. We play, and we just have fun. We have so much fun. We played five hours of Injustice that night. And we're trading wins. We're going back and forth. We're looking up things in the move list and being like, oh, what does this string do? And I find it, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to beat you up with this. And we just had fun. We didn't care about Injustice having, you know, plus moves or the fact that, you know, interactables were busted, man, or, you know, that Batman got interactable setups in the corner off of these two stages, or the Green Lantern's dumb. I mean, Green Lantern's still dumb. That's just factual. But, you know, besides all that, like, we just played and had fun. And we ended up getting together, like, once a week for a year just to play Injustice. Just to play this game because we were having so much fun doing it. We were leveling up at the same time. I would learn a new combo. He would learn a new combo. I'd figure out some new special move. He would figure out some new special move. We'd swap around characters. We'd do all this stuff. And we just had fun and we just played. There was no one, you know, we, the only thing we ever looked up was combos. We didn't listen to all the people talking about how Aquaman's chip damage was so OP and, you know, all the, Superman's, like, forward two was, you know, completely broken. It was plus on block overhead, blah, 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 whatever. Like, you know, we didn't listen to any of that detraction. We just, we played and we had fun. And at the end of the day, fighting games are about playing and having fun. For those of us who enjoy competition, we get value out of the competition we have fun through the learning process through improving ourselves through increasing our ability to play at a higher level but for someone who's brand new they don't want to know about that road ahead they have to choose to go down that road at some point they can choose to go down that path but at the beginning it's just about fun man it's about putting them in a fight where they can mash buttons, do something cool with their favorite looking character, potentially beat up their friend, win some rounds, talk about it, and then go home that night and think about how much more powerful they could be if they go and they train up the next day and learn a combo. Because that's how it began for every single one of us. It's just that, you know, sometimes we forget. So anyway, thank you for listening to me rant. Shoutouts to uh, the local Atlanta FGC for talking about this today. I love our community. And regardless of what fighting game you're coming from, I wish you all the best. Please help new people get into your communities and your scenes. Please facilitate that fun factor. And uh, I'll see you next time.